This how to make money on Top Shot edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by BetQL. BetQL is your home for the info you need to make yourself a smarter, better college basketball, NBA, and NHL. Whatever the sport, they got you covered. Plus, use the promo code SGP30 for 30% off their premium data. Just go to betql.com, promo code SGP30. That's betql.com, promo code SGP30. We're also brought to you by Better Than Vegas. Better Than Vegas is the home for avid sports bettors, providing insights, analysis, and free betting picks. Better Than Vegas, it's like YouTube for sports betting. Make sure to subscribe to our page so you don't miss a pick. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash BTV. We're also brought to you by Better Edge. Better Edge is your home for no vig betting. That's right, no vig betting that's legal in 40 states. Sign up at betteredge.com, promo code SGP for a free ten dollar bet. That's B E T T O R edge.com promo code S G P. Ooh, welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. It's having a Kramer dog. Oh my God. It, we're doing bonus work this week. Bonus I thought it was podcast. the off season. It turns out there's college football. There's college basketball. There's NFL best ball drafts. And now the NBA has to jump into my face with this shit. This is March. And uh, yeah, no, we have a full, a ton of college basketball podcast coming out. We are dabbling in the FCS football as well. We just did our first best ball FFPC style draft. Check Crushed that podcast it. out. That was a lot of fun. And if that wasn't enough, we found out a new way to make easy money, no risk involved completely. <laughs> you get your pickaxe out and start mining some gold. We've been hearing a lot of stuff about NBA Top Shot. I don't really understand NBA <laughs> Top Shot. You certainly don't understand oh, NBA I, Top Shot. Of right? course, Sean. I'm very well read on the situation. I, I know exactly what's going on here. But again, we're educators at at heart, and uh, we decided we would talk to a uh, DFS expert, John Jackson, who's, who's dove in head first to the NBA <laughs> top shot world. I, I'm give us top shot expert. <laughs> we are crowning him our top shot expert, top shot insider DFS, a flow chart guru, John Jackson, John, what's happening, man. What's up guys. It, uh, it doesn't take much to be a top shot expert nowadays. <laughs> oh, wow. Shots fired already. <laughs> I love it. Already, already the top shot tout bringing some top shot heat. Okay, so <laughs> I I heard about Top Shot like maybe four or five months ago. I wish I would have hopped in. Oh, it was like oh, Doge, geez. like Doge. Yeah, wow. I know, and I didn't I didn't do it. Thankfully, I got in on Dogecoin. We'll see <laughs> to the moon, as the kids say. But uh, I didn't I didn't mess around with it. Now I have a loose understanding of what Top Shot is uh, from someone who's just kind of seen it on the surface. Basically, instead of a trading card, you're buying video highlights of uh, NBA players, but kind of trading them like trading cards. You buy a pack and you get a bunch of them, these video highlights. <laughs> so they have unique, <laughs> you, they have unique serial numbers, and then you can sell them on the marketplace. That's my loose. So they're going to put someone's face on a piece of cardboard <laughs> and it's worth money. I, I got I'll, I'll be the one telling, uh, <laughs> telling kids years from now, like, yeah, I used, I had a top shot, but I put it in my, uh, the spokes of my bicycle. My you know, mom I had a, I had a Joel Embiid rookie top shot. I put in my uh, spokes of my bicycle, never lost all the money. All right. So John walk us through there. It starting out. They, it's also tied to <laughs> cryptocurrency. It is a non fungible token. What is that? And how does it apply to top shot? Yeah. I mean, I think the easiest way to describe the, the NFTs, the non fungible tokens <laughs> is, you know, it's, it's, it's like, if you, you know, you think back to the Michael Jordan cards that are, you know, PSA grade 10 that are going for hundreds of thousand dollars nowadays. Well, you don't actually know how many of those cards there are out there. You don't know, you know, I mean, they have a loose, uh, you know, guesstimate now, which is how they get valued. But with the NFT stuff, everything's created on the blockchain. So there's, you know, everything's trackable um, and everything's unique. So, you know, there's, I guess, a fungible token would be something like a Bitcoin or something like that, where you can you can trade it and it's got pretty much equal value. But with the NFTs, they're all unique IDs um, and they all have kind of their own value, I guess. And, and it's not just, um, I mean, there's a ton of this stuff that's popping up now. Um, a lot of like new, you know, artists and stuff like that are, are creating this NFT stuff. And I guess it would be the, the way the kids are going nowadays. <laughs> 
Well, in, in some ways, I mean, not to get super nerdy, Sean, but it. Well, I think it was. I think this is kind of more in line with what blockchain was intended to do. I, I think the uh, the the fungible ones are maybe the the misuse of the technology. But anyway, it is it is funny to sit here and just be the guy who who needs someone to explain to them trading cards just in a digital sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's the simplest way to wrap like your head around. When it. we had it as a kid, it was it was a moment in time. Mm. Now the moment, just like when we take a picture, it captures a little bit uh, before and a little bit after. Now we get a little bit before and a little bit after, so we get that kind of 4D representation of the space time <laughs> continuum, man. Oh, uh, Brian, you're blowing my oh mind. My God. I can't wait to get in the next drop. I'm telling. I got my account. Shout out to Jong. I see he's in the locker room. Uh, I hit him up on Slack today. I go, dude. Here's the deal. <laughs> like, give me the, give me the, give me the quick re- lowdown. Low How do I get into one of these drops? And it's like, yeah, I, I, I like. Let's talk about it because that's. That's how I, I want to know. How do I put money into one of these things so I can open? Like we should do a live stream. Do you open it? Like, how does that work? Yeah, man, it's a lot of hype. (laughs) The pack openings are a lot of hype. They have, depending if, you know, it's a base pack or a rare pack, they got different kind of music, you know, some beats going in the background and then you, (laughs) you rip open the pack, all three of your moments pop up or five of your moments pop up and and then you click on them and it just goes into the 3d vortex of showing your moment. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Honestly, over the packs <laughs> is pretty sick. I know it, it, you know, kind of, I'm thinking it, like, like Sims we're in the booth and we do like a lot of live live pack reaction. opening. Well, it's funny. It's, it's very easy to just dismiss and be like the old guy on the lawn going, ah, oh, this is stupid. But when I was, when I signed up for my account and I was clicking around and I go, oh man, I really want one of these packs. That that rush of opening the pack. Mm-hmm. That uh, I, I think, in a way, one of those unboxing videos that they do for kids and the toys. I think it has that same rush of like, what's in the box? Well, and then well, you out of the blue, Dick Olson calls me like a couple months back and is like, dude, people are opening boxes of football cards on YouTube and it's <laughs> huge. And I'm like, whatever. He's no, like, it, no, it's huge. You got to get into it. And then this the the the, vert, the digital version. Of, I mean, I think it's just. I think the quarantine, the COVID like quarantine time did a lot of things to a lot of people <laughs> and they real people realized, you know what I enjoyed? I enjoyed this, the simplicity of this. And they, so, so they just use blockchain and now it's like, you can't get, get screwed over by some like random, like <laughs> whole group of Polacks and, and, and uh, South, some fake in South Jersey, making some fake Ken Griffey jr. Rookie cards. Well, and, and what do you, John is some, someone who's kind of like in the world already uh, what, uh, what do you think has caused the top shot to kind of take off? Yeah. I mean, so I, you know, it's been around since last season, you know, I think their, their series one was started in 21 or 2019. And, and, um, you know, I think it was just kind of no, nobody really knew about it too much. And then how I kind of got into it is, um, just through the kind of fantasy Twitter sphere, um, uh, Jonathan Bales and Peter Jennings, the two guys that, um, kind of co-created fantasy labs. They, they wrote, they bought a John Morant moment for like 35 grand. I think it was, and, and wrote a big article about it. And that kind of got the, the DFS and the fantasy Twitter sphere kind of in a, in a flurry about, you know, middle of January. And so I think that was a pretty big bump there, um, for a couple of weeks. And, And that's when I hopped in and I mean, even I, I mean, I, I think I got in the last week of January and that was already like one week behind when it was just packs were just free flowing and anybody could buy anything. And by the time I got in like four days later, it was already like stuff was sold out. You had to wait for drops and stuff like that. And so, I mean, this, this stuff has just taken off. And I mean, now there's ESPN articles, Forbes, CNBC. I mean, everybody's writing about this stuff and, and it's really just exploding. Yeah, I, I saw you sent over no, a number two hundred and thirty million dollars in sales. Now, for okay, so it, let's just walk through the kind of mechanics of it. Uh, you sign up for the account. You sign up to buy a pack. Right now, it seems like to even get a pack, you're on some waiting list. But packs go for what, like nine, ten bucks? Yeah. So I mean, you so you yeah you sign up and you and you put money into your dapper account which is kind of how is the i guess the wallet that you use in order to buy the different moments and um right now they are they're i think it, it i think they're going to go through and get some more base pack releases but um it's kind of hit or miss you just you just kind of have to be waiting for it and and see when they're going to release pack jobs i mean part of the 
issue that they have is anytime they try to do any sort of announcement, their site just like explodes and like a hundred, <laughs> hundreds of thousands of people hop on to try to get these packs. And so, um, they've been going through a lot of these different like stress tests where they'll just released, you know, 5,000 packs with about 15 minute notice. Um, and, and just try to kind of, you know, work through the mechanics of their website. And so, um, it's a little bit of a lottery right now to get packs. Um, they just did one over the weekend that basically guaranteed everybody that signed up got a pack. And they, I mean, it was like a full day event. I think they got like over 150,000 people oh that my God. went in and paid $9 for a base moment pack. So, I mean, I think they are, they're very cognizant about trying to get as many people involved as possible. And obviously the demand is much greater than the supply right now, but um, yeah, it's, it's a ton of fun. This well, reminds me of uh Chappelle and Samson, just getting the product <laughs> out there hard. Woo, it's smoking my weed. Yeah, it is. It is <laughs> flying off the shelf now. It, it, I mean, it reminds me of like the one senior who took a trip to California and brought back some kind bud to <laughs> Pennsylvania, and everyone's like, "Oh my God, I gotta get some!" So now, um, <laughs> it, uh, you you mentioned base packs. Walk us through the different types of packs. If we're lucky enough to be the privileged few to have the ability to purchase a pack, what are the different kinds of packs? Uh, any sort of strategy on what packs to buy. It seems like right now the goal is just get your hand on any sort of packs, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, there. So every series, which is basically just kind of equivalent to an NBA season. So right now they're in series two, and that'll happen basically for the balance of this season. Um, that every series has a base pack, which is kind of just like common cards, I guess you would call it. Um, and so, but w- what's kind of interesting is. Um, and, and they're still trying to figure out exactly how the mechanics work of it, but they'll have a list of players, you know, call it 40 to 50 players that have a moment in that series and they'll have a, you know, an open, you know, circulating count to it. So, um, uh, a bit, bit, like a week and a half ago is when all the common moments were circulating at 15,000, um, serial count. And they were technically all open at that time, meaning that they could have bumped up um, in, in number at any point. And then um, they came out with a big announcement that they were limiting all of the current moments. They were stopping them at 15,000. And now there's a whole new batch that's coming out that's going to be have 25,000 um, serial count. So, you know, in in lieu of or, or, you know, in working with the ESPN article and the Mark Cuban announcement, and all that stuff, they also was the same timing of all these moments going limited. And so that's what kind of skyrocketed the whole site. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like what you're saying, I mean, you want to just get in and you just want to put your name in the hat and try to get a base pack. Um, that's like the easiest entry point. It's basically $9. Um, and you're guaranteed to get three moments right now. The like expected value is crazy on these base packs. I mean, I think, that you're like you pay nine dollars and you're expected to be able to turn over like a hundred twenty dollars of profit right away. <laughs> oh my god! Um, yeah, it, right. It, what are we part, doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think we used to call these pyramid schemes, Sean. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna uh, real quick. Want to give a shout out to Ben QL. Definitely not a pyramid scheme. I want to know how these things how these things are priced. We're gonna talk to John about that in a second. You know what? Uh, you know what? You can also get for a much. I mean, listen, there's no waiting list right now, but there should be the way they're, the way they're giving away free money, BetQL.com. That's right. In the same way that you can turn $9 to $120. You can do the same thing using their data and their picks. All you gotta do is go to BetQL.com. Use our promo code SGP 30, get 30% off a uh, paid subscription. I just cashed Alabama state plus 12. Thanks to my betql.com subscription. Thank you. BetQL. five stars, you baby for participating in the sports gambling podcast. Again, tons of great picks, but uh, also just tons of great betting info. The apps free to download and uh, site free to download as well. But the premium stuff you, uh, you got to pay for That's why it's premium SGP 30 gets you 30% off a subscription. Betql.com promo code S G P 30 bet smarter, not Harder. We already got a caller on the line, Ryan. We don't. They 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 oh they checked out. They, they probably uh, they, they probably ding heard dong ditched. They probably heard there was a uh, <laughs> there was a pack drop. He was like, I'm gonna fuck with these nerds. Okay, so I I get it overall. Uh, supply 
is way high demand or sorry. Supply is low. Demand is high. That's how that's creating the marketplace. That's driving these prices up. But okay. I I looked at the marketplace. Now the marketplace (laughs) is where you can buy and sell these things instead of waiting for a pack. Let's say you just want a Joel and bead moment. I saw a Joel and bead moment. I liked it. And then I went to click to buy it. And you know, there was a bunch of different prices depending on the serial number. One serial number had it priced at like $200. Another serial number was like 17,000. Why, why the different pricing for this same moment or uh, pack or uh, sorry, not moment, but like with same top shot, like it's the same clip. Yeah. Why is what's the pricing difference? Yeah. So uh, one moment can be a part of multiple sets. So, mm. um, you know, like the base sets are what we were talking about that have like the 15,000 count or the 25,000 count. But then there's also like a rare set that maybe is, you know, they have like a metallic gold or a hologram or cosmic. And those ones, they only have, it'll be a sim- the same moment, a, a similar moment that they're, you know, shooting a three or whatever, but it'll have different graphics and it'll be only out of, you know, 50 um, serial numbers instead of out of 15,000 or something like that. And so a lot of these, um, rare and legendary, um, sets that they have right now are, you know, priced, you know, astronomical. It's mostly all the stud players that are in those. Um, and you know, obviously they they have a really low circulating count. And so those ones are really rare, but then within the base pack itself, like if you're looking at the Joel and bead moment, um, you know, the, the higher price are going to be the lower in serial number. And, and that the thought process is, you know, the, the lower serials over time are going to hold more value while the, the higher serials are kind of going to be considered more common. And so um, on top of, you know, I, I like to think anything kind of below the 200 range, if you're talking about these like 15,000 um, counts, anything below 200, I think is, um, is pretty good. And that's where I've kind of grabbed a couple guys. Um, but then, you know, obviously the number one serial is going to be crazy. Um, any player's Jersey number is going to have a premium because people want to want to match up Jersey numbers to the serial number um, and stuff like that. So, so, so four twenty sixty nine. do those also <laughs> have exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, those, that's will, those will come at a premium. So yeah, a John I need, bead. I need a, well, I need a, a Dion waiters four twenty moment right oh, now. Man. Someone find me one. I'm it's it's happening me. right now. That is that is hilarious. So I mean, without revealing your portfolio too much, John, <laughs> how many how many top shots do you own right now? Like how how many packs have you gotten? Kind of walk us through what you've done so far in the space. Yeah. So I like I said I I kind of got into it, you know, mid to late January. Um, at that time they were, they were on, um, release number nine for the base base packs. Now they're on release number 21. So, um, I, like I was saying at the beginning, I was able to get most of the packs that were coming out because, um, there wasn't such crazy demand. And so I think I got maybe four, four or six packs. Um, then they also had a couple rare pack drops that, um, was part of this like challenge. We, we can talk about challenges a little bit later. Yeah. Um, that's a whole nother curveball. Um, so I got a couple of those and and those are good. Cause they, you know, automatically include, include a card that you need for the challenge. And so a lot of people are looking to buy those. Um, so I was able to kind of, um, you know, flip some things and, and got a, got a little bit of, a uh, my feet under me. And then, and then I, I you know, what I found is, you know, obviously I'm going to start crunching some numbers on this stuff. Yeah. I get a spreadsheet going, um, <laughs> you know, there's, there's the, the possibilities are endless within this market because as you're saying, I mean, you, you go, you, you scroll through a Joel and bead moment and the pricing in my opinion is not really efficient at this point, right? There's, you know, you'll see a 14,000 number that's higher than, you know, something that's, uh, you know, 11,000 or something like that. And there's, there's just way too many people all trying to get in here and all just like putting stuff up, up for sale and stuff like that, where it's going to take a while, I think before the market gets efficient. And so there's a lot of opportunity. So what I was doing is, um, you know, if you uh, like, I'll take this Damian Lillard, um, one, for example, that I was showing. So there's one from series one that's out of 1500. Um, and that one's the lowest ask right now is for 1300 bucks. Then there's one for series two that's out of 15,000. So it's, you know, it's a 10th as rare, 
but it's going for 107. So, um, you know, there's, there's a little bit of value there because a 10th of 1300 is 130. So Ooh, yeah. you kind of expect you, I I've kind of taken the approach that I would expect, you know, kind of the, the rarity to equal the value. And anytime there's a discrepancy there, I would assume over time, they're all going to kind of catch each other. And so that's where I kind of tried to, to find some, but then, you know, before the Mark Cuban article, before the ESPN thing, before the Forbes is when I went and um, kind of s- snatched up some of these guys. I, I was doing it because I, the all-star break was coming up. So I went and I grabbed a Duran, I grabbed a Curry, I grabbed a Lillard. I, I grabbed a bunch of these guys <laughs> that were going to be in the running for the all-star break. And it was every, you know, they were costing me 20 to $40. And then all of a sudden everything went crazy and the, the limited came out and the site blew up. And I mean, literally all these moments, like 10 times, 20 times of value. And it's just like, it's going off. So, so, so if you're looking to sell in the marketplace, the, the mechanics are you go on, you see like, okay, let's say I have uh, you know, my serial number is a hundred and I look and I see, okay, there's a serial number 200 selling for a thousand bucks, a serial number 50 selling for uh, you know, 2000 bucks. Maybe I'll price mine at 1500, somewhere in between. And you get to decide what the price is, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like, um, you know, it's just like listing something on eBay or something like that, where you, they have some tools where you go on the listing and you, you use their little pricing helper and you can sort by, you know, um, look roughly around the the (laughs) serial range where you're at and see some of what's getting listed. And, you know, if you put it, you know, couple dollars below the lowest ask in your range, it'll probably get snapped up pretty quickly. If you put it a couple dollars higher, it might, um, it might take a couple days, but for the most part, I mean, I think I've probably sold 20 to 30 moments on here, um, since I started and, um, yeah, it's been, it's, it's really fun logging on and seeing that little notification that you sold something. You're like, yes. Now, now, as far that as you, like, did you hear that DJ giggle that John just had? <laughs> He's just like, this is pretty. <laughs> that EV. Seth Rogen just stoner. Like, <laughs> now, now, what about like the actual funding of it? Do you just deposit like with any other uh, online sportsbook? Deposit with a, a credit card, PayPal, and then getting the money out. Do you have to. I'm assuming you're filling out some tax thing. What's what's go? What's the process? Yeah. There? So so that's the that's the new hot discussion that I've seen on the Twitter <laughs> streets is people trying to figure out how this tax stuff is going to work. Um, so it, it sounds like they are going to um, have it kind of organized for you to for tax um, purposes. But you know that stuff we'll kind of worry about next year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like where your from, head's at. But but from the actual kind of funding standpoint, I mean. Yeah, you, you have they have this site that's through Dapper, which I guess has a couple other different NFTs uh, spaces on it, and that's where you create kind of like your wallet and you you put your funds in through credit card or bank account, um, and then all your different you know purchases go through that Dapper wallet, and it just kind of takes you to the second site. Um, right now, <laughs> so I mean this is this is how like s- small time they were like less than a month ago. The their like um verification system, it's called KYC, know your customer. And they're like trying to, you know, that you actually have to upload your ID. You actually have to prove you're not a robot and prove you're like legit. In January they had one person that was their KYC team. And so now, you know, obviously they're <laughs> trying to add more people and they're trying to yeah. think, help this process go quicker. But when you all of a sudden add 250,000 users to the site, one guy's not gonna be able to keep up with it all. So um, right now there's like a 30 day window on um, once you open an account, that's like kind of the minimum that you have to hold an account before you're eligible to start the verification process. But um, I've seen some of the the people on the site that have been on there longer than I have posting on Twitter that they've got their account verified and, and taken some deposits. So that's a big question that's been out there. And I think it's starting to kind of ramp up, but um, I mean, I think just in general, that's something that if you're hopping in now at this point of the game, that's, you just have to be a little bit patient like this. It's literally the site has seen like exponential growth over the last three <laughs> weeks and <laughs> it's going to be clunky and there's the, there's going to be a lot of maintenance and they're, they're just trying to figure out, but I've no doubt these guys are working like 18 hours a day is trying to crank through this stuff and well, get it going. And, and you can tell it, it's blown up quick because like the intro video is Tyler hero. And you can <laughs> tell, like, talk about a guy who got it on the right tech project. He's like, fuck, oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> yes. Well, it's like that story of the agent who uh, went to George Foreman and Hulk Hogan and said, I have uh, two products here for your endorsement. 
And uh, he was Hulk Hogan at the time was making more money. And he said, do you want to endorse the DJ set or the grill? And Hulk Hogan infamously chose the DJ set. So he called him a Vander Holyfield and he goes, I guess you're selling grills. And he goes, I guess I am George Foreman, but sorry, George Foreman. It's kind of funny That's to funny. think of uh, Holyfield doing that. Um, now, I mean, my question before, and we'll get to strategy. Cause I'm sure everyone wants to know like the nuts and bolts here and what angles John is already crafting up. Um, they got to be doing this for the NFL, right? Like NFL has to be. This has to be on their radar now, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think I've. Um, so, I mean, that's the cool part of, and why you know, I think it's got some lasting um, power is they have a license agreement with the NBA. So you know, the NBA is is taking a piece of this pie um, and a piece of this revenue. And oh yeah, I mean, Cuban came out two weeks ago, and he he says that he thinks within. 10 years. I mean, we're, we're thinking long term here, but within 10 years, he thinks Top Shot's going to be a top three revenue source for the NBA. That's I mean, insane. that has like that much potential. So um, they they've set it up with the NBA. I mean, they've got like players on board. There there's more like players every week that are tweeting about it and trying to get involved with it and stuff. And and um, everything I've heard is that they have a, a, a similar plan in in the works for NFL. I think I've even seen some NHL hype going around that they might get some some hockey going. Um, so, I mean, I think I'm sure that the possibilities are endless. I think they need to try to like get their uh, website going first and, and <laughs> work through their maintenance issues, but, but before they try to hop onto a bunch of new sports, but I mean, it, the opportunities are out there. It's funny, Sean. I stuck my head in the cow's ass and popped onto the discord server. Oh, and yeah. one of the top oh, channels is like stress test announcements. <laughs> and I yeah. thought like, well, Ryan, this is right in your wheelhouse. Well, exactly. Right. And so I was like, oh man, that's hilarious. Like that, that that's always a good problem to have though. And I, honestly, like it, it just seems like one of those things that it's still early enough where everything's just going to keep going up. So the, the key <laughs> is just getting inside the club. Like get, that's what it yeah, sounds what's like, the, right? What's what's the downside at this point, John? Uh, you just that you're that you're someone who goes to the marketplace and sings. We don't know the side effects yet, but it seems like this is a win-win situation. Well, I, I guess the possible side effects are if you went into the marketplace and dropped like fifty-seven grand on a uh, Alex Caruso layup, and then that thing you know plummets in value. I think uh, like buying nine dollars a pack, you really what can you lose, right? Am I yeah. Exactly. Am I looking at that right? <laughs> no, and I mean the way that I look at it is like nine dollars. I mean, uh, shit, I'll pay nine dollars just to open these packs and see what these moments are. I mean, I don't even <laughs> no, care if they're worth it is. eight dollars. Yeah, <laughs> what's, I mean, it's I, fun. So I think, I mean, I think long term over like you know we're talking like a couple years here. I would assume that you know the the all star type players, the Lebrons, the Zion's, the Lucas, the those kind of guys they're obviously going to hold the most value and, and no different than we see with, you know, basketball cards and, and football cards and baseball cards from back in the day. Um, though the studs are going to hold their value more than, you know, some of kind of these second, third string guys that are somehow their $3 moments selling for $20 just because somebody wants to buy a freaking moment and put it in their collection. So um, I think that's, I would say that's like kind of the downside right now is is all of the, the market is just so inflated that, um, you know, if you start, if you just buy, yeah, like you're saying, you go and buy 50 Alex Caruso moments. I mean, <laughs> I'm not, I don't really think those over the long term are going to hold value, but I mean, if you buy two Kevin Durant's, uh, you know, he's probably going to be good for the next couple of years. So, well, and, and if you are a guy like uh, one of these, one of these players, it's interesting. I've seen the players buying their own top shots. Have you, have yeah. you seen that? That's good. Yeah. So that's like, that's like the uh, kind of the next level that people are trying to figure out. Like, you know, if you, if a player buys a moment and then everything's trackable, right? So you could theoretically then buy that player's moment. And then that's even like, that's like the autograph more version value. of yeah. a moment or whatever. And I mean, there were so Damian Lee, who's on the um, Warriors and Terry Rozier on the Hornets. Uh, after their game last week, they exchanged moments on the <laughs> instead of Jersey exchange, they exchanged moments. It's like, there's like a ton of like stuff that's possible. With this. And far, I mean, <laughs> well, Ryan, this is a perfect I'm looking time right now. You can deposit with crypto. So just, Oh my yep, God. Yep. Do um, they support doge? I'm, I'm on the dapper. I just, up, <laughs> I just updated my dapper account handle to Kramer centric. So well, yeah, and, yeah. and go to NBA 
Although I'm sure the random uh, ladies art gallery that has the domain topshot.com oh, is no. getting a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of random traffic. Um, so yeah, and you can just give people moments. So like, if for say someone wanted to send uh, me or Ryan a oh, top yeah. shot. I am wearing. I, I did think we're talking Top Shot. I understand this whole like video game legendary, common, rare. So I wore my very rare Carmelo Anthony black New York Knicks camo T-shirt mm. jersey today. I wonder if I can get uh, nine dollars for this on on eBay. So if someone <laughs> if someone wanted to say send a Top Shot to the username Sean T Green S E A N T oh. Green like the color or Kramer centric. <laughs> Back or to John John. Boy Beats. They can just they can yeah there you go or John at John Boy Beats <laughs> they can just send you a a free top shot like kind of tipping or the same way you send a crypto or PayPal Venmo yeah exactly I oh. mean so I I was trying uh, like for the last three weeks I've been trying to get all my buddies to join this and nobody thought it was cool so the finally the four of them that joined I, I gifted them all at JaVale McGee just for believing in me and signing up and, and hopefully, oh. you know, they don't lose too much money, but That's yeah, awesome. it's pretty cool. Get, I, get, a, get a little skin in the game right away. Well, it's funny. You say skin in the game. I, I think, you know how on, um, <laughs> I'm like, we're uh, furiously trying to figure this out right now. Uh, you know how uh, it, it's hilarious how um, like, and we know this because of uh, on Twitter, like you follow someone and then what they like pops up in yeah. your feed. Well, we follow some of the f- listeners and stuff from the years of doing the podcast. Uh, <laughs> it's hilarious sometimes what you see uh, some of our listeners um, favoriting, and I, I, for whatever reason, it popped up in our feed that uh, <laughs> there's this chick who goes by the name Crypto Babe on Twitter at Top Shot Babe, who I guess trades nudes for uh, <laughs> NBA Top Shots. <laughs> and I just there, saw the, for whatever whoever one of the listeners I won't blow up their spot was like favoriting her stuff and it was popping up. Oh man, I was uh, I was really getting a, a good chuckle at that. So yeah, if, we're not going to be trading nudes, but if you want to throw us wow. a Javale McGee or Alex Caruso, uh, I'll happily accept at Sean T Green. Kramer, uh, got to hit got to hit a read real quick, but we'll talk strategy here coming up in a second. You know what's a great strategy? Not paying the VIG. That's true. Why would you have to pay the VIG if you don't have to? <laughs> BetterEdge.com, man. They found a better way. John, I know you're a huge fan of EV, and uh, what better way to skyrocket that EV Love than EV. by not paying, <laughs> not paying VIG? It just makes sense. And uh, and the cool thing they have is head-to-head challenges. You can go up, uh, like let's say you want to. You know, you want to bet your friend? What yeah. better way than to sort it out on Better Edge? You guys each get a ten dollar free bet. Modern day arm wrestling. Well, if you want to, if you're on two different sides of a bet, and you don't want to have to like sort through sending it Venmo, PayPal, BetterEdge.com, they got you set up. B e t t o r Edge. Promo code SGP gets you a free ten dollar bet. BetterEdge.com. Promo code S. GP. Just be careful if someone tries to make one of those bets and then charge try to charge try, <laughs> tries to charge you the vig. All right. Deep pull. Deep pull. Do we have a caller, Kramer? We don't have a okay. caller. Just people uh, ringing our doorbell on the uh, locker they're pr- room. App. They're probably thinking we're doing a drop, but once they realize <laughs> we're not, they're just like, "Fuck! I'm not getting a rush here. Get out of here." Yes. And uh, and you know when you go. Uh, the packs, like there's no waiting list. You just basically have to what follow them on Twitter and get a notification or yeah. So there's a, there's a couple, um, well, you can get in their discord, which Kramer is talking about. <laughs> it's it's your eyes will start bleeding right away though. Cause you, there's like, I think there's over a hundred thousand people on the discord. So it's like impossible to even keep up with anything that's going on in there. Um, but they do have some, some channels in there that talk about the packs. There's a couple um, Twitter Guys, the first mint is a good one, and then own the moment NFT. Those are two of the kind of bigger um, ones that I follow. That they're pretty much always on top of it when when packs open. But basically, how it goes is they'll 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 have the the new pack up on the site, and um, you know, right now what what you do is is when the when the pack drop is live, you click on the button to join the drop. And then you'll, you'll basically get put into like the queue. Um, there'll be like a countdown timer for, you know, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. That's when you really start getting juiced, you really start getting amped. Um, and then, and then it counts down and then 
it, uh, it, everybody that's in the queue at the time, the timers up, it randomizes you into an, an order in line. Um, so you don't, you know, you do have to get on it within, you know, 15 minutes or so, but you don't have to be like super on top of it and get being like first one in line. Cause it doesn't matter. Everybody has the same chance. Um, which is, I, you know, everybody's kind of gets pissed about that, but in my opinion, it's better because there's guys who can figure out how to bought it and get in early. So give everybody the same chance. Um, and then, you know, unfortunately some of these smaller stress test pack drops, there's only like 5,000 packs and you know, you'll get your place in line and you're 76,000. So you don't really have a great shot at getting that, that when that happens. But, um, I do think they're going to be coming out with a lot more of the base packs. Um, and so I would say, I mean, the, the easiest way, if you just want to put in like a hundred bucks or something, and you just kind of want to want to have some fun is just to to try to throw your hat in the ring for every single pack drop, um, and try to get a pack. And, and the, the typical base packs are $9 and you get three moments. Um, they're going to be coming out with, um, a challenge pack pretty soon, um, called the cool cats, which is 14 bucks. Um, and that'll have like five moments in it. Um, but the challenges are, are really cool. And it's like a, it's like a little curveball that, um, that gets increases the hype. So with the, with the cool cats pack, you'll get four base moments that are the same as kind of what you get in the base pack. And then you also get everybody's guaranteed one of the cool cats. And then the challenge will have, you know, you'll have to collect all five of these cool cats cards. And then when you do, you'll get a, a like a pretty rare card, you know, uh, once you hold all five of those at the end of the challenge. So, so the challenges are basically, uh, you know, I, I had the same thing with Starbucks and their reward. Wait, I'm thing. sorry. We we actually we have a caller. We do have a caller. I think, I think Doris Burke wants to check in on the conversation. <laughs> you have to know when to come. So Chris does a great job. He always comes from behind and gets a piece of it. Like it's not just when you come. Like it's it's how hard you come. Uh, are you coming when the dribble is dead? Are you coming when he gets into a shooting motion? Uh, is there a top shot of that moment? <laughs> Doris Burke needs to be put in the NBA top shot. Memorialize that woman, please. That Jeez. Was great. Oh, that was an all timer from Doris. Salute to Doris, the legend. Why so is she real not quick? I'm touch? looking at my profile, Sean. I'm yeah. current ranked street baller. Okay. I got to work on uh, uh, some other things to upgrade, uh, maybe level up to the next, uh, the next rank. Yeah. So the, so these challenges one, like you said, the cool cats, Basically, you're just buying the packs, trying to get, uh, you know, a certain number of cool cats that unlock uh, another uh, another card or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's the the fun part about the challenges is, I mean, you know, given the cool cats, for example, I would assume this next pack, the cool cat card you get is probably immediately going to be worth around a hundred dollars, maybe a little more, because all, there's going to be some collectors that are trying to get all the 25 cool cats. Cause there's going to be five different ones and blah, blah, blah. Um, but anyways, the, so that will automatically get some value and you'll be able to sell that at the right time um, and to, to, to get a good return. Or you can try to snap up the, you know, some other cool cats and, and get the reward. But like the first one was like a, you got a rare Luca card. This, this, the second one, you got a rare Anthony Davis card. I think the next one is a, Carl Anthony Towns card, um, if I remember correctly. So you you get some good, pretty good players out of it, and obviously they have that extra kind of utility of being that challenge reward. So they're they're considered extra rare. Um, I mean, I think one of the things that you want to try to do from a strategy standpoint is is spend some time kind of understanding how the market works a little bit. I mean, like you guys were talking about, it's it's as silly as it sounds. It's simple kind of supply and demand. So when a, when a pack drop happens and, you know, let's say there's 25,000 packs that drop that each have three moments. I mean, that's 75,000 new moments that are coming to the ecosystem. And most of the people that are probably getting these packs are maybe it's their first time getting it, or they're, they're joined within the last couple of weeks. And so they're trying to, you know, kind of turn it, turn a quick profit and see what they can do with it. And so immediately after all the pack drops, the market is all is going to decrease because everybody's going to be putting up moments and kind of undercutting the, the lowest, um, the lowest price. And so that's a good time to try to buy. If you, if you have, you know, if you had your eye on some cards that maybe or some moments that are, that are a little bit out of your range. And then once the pack drops happen, they, they come down a little bit and you can grab them. Um, and then 
I usually would not really want to sell anything until, you know, 24 to 48 after hours after the pack drop, when the market kind of rebounds a little bit, when, when people are, you know, like that Chappelle gift, they're, they're, you know, craving another pack. Yeah, exactly. and they're, hey, you have any more of those packs? So maybe the move is after you get a pack, wait. And do they have a set announced schedule or is it just whenever, whenever these guys decide to put out a uh, edited YouTube video that, yeah, I think, I mean, so <laughs> because it's all on the blockchain, there's these guys that can go in and they can see when stuff is getting minted. And they can see when there's moments that are being created. Um, so you have a general idea on, okay, now they just started making a bunch of these new 25,000, um, series moments. Um, but as it relates to the actual pack drops, they don't really have a schedule, um, for the, the rare. So they just did a rare pack, um, that, uh, I think it was, uh, Friday. Um, yeah, I was on Friday last week. They did a rare pack. So I was $99. You got one rare card that was, uh, guaranteed to be out of 500 and then you got four base cards. Um, and they were only, <laughs> they were only giving away 10,000 of them. And I think 120,000 <laughs> people got in line for it. And that was with like a email notification, like eight hours before. So anytime they do any sort of notification, it's like, everybody floods the site. And so a lot of the base pack stuff, they will just kind of pop up and you, you have to be, you know, following the Twitter, um, or, or kind of on top of it in, they, in order to get in there. But, um, it, I don't think they're going to have a set schedule for any time in the near future until they can kind of, uh, get, get the, get the supply well, increased a little bit. Good news. We have some guys in Slack that yeah. seem to be yeah. keeping tabs on the situation. I, I think we need to create a uh, top shot Slack channel. I, yeah, I, I have, a, I have a, a feeling. I think it's a good one. Yeah. And so just as the guy who uh, was continually me being made fun of during sim season for <laughs> uh, playing magic, the gathering, even though not a magic, the gathering fan, I got to ask the question, how is this different than magic? The gathering? <laughs> Um, I don't know. So Ooh, I, a legendary thing, moment. I'll trade you my, ah, I love this. I want, I, I want to buy into this right now, Sean. <laughs> I, I would say I would, I would give the, some advice is, you know, for anybody that's maybe listening to this and they're going to go sign up tomorrow or something like that. I would, you know, probably try to just stay within kind of the, the sets and the, the series that is currently getting dropped because um, you know, in my opinion, every time that there's a, a new, you know, set that it gets closed off and it's capped at a certain number. And now, you know, next week there's going to be moments that have 50,000 or whatever. Um, all, you know, the, the one that you just got for $3 is now going to be even more, you know, even more valuable. And so, I mean, if you look at some of the series one stuff, I think the cheapest moments, a hundred dollars. And wow. if you think about last year, those packs were the same thing going for $3 each. And it's, you know, crappy backup players that, you know, I mean the, the one, the other week that was going off was Stanley Johnson, <laughs> who was part of, he was part of one of these challenges. And so there was high demand to get the Stanley Johnson card. Then I remember I checked in one morning and he, his moment was like the one that was going, it had the most increase overnight on the whole site. And I was like, Oh, well, I wonder if he had a good game. He played three minutes in like a blowout. <laughs> it's like, what? it doesn't even make sense. So I mean, that, that's kind of the, the fun part of trying to, to, to game the system a little bit and figure out, you know, which guys have value. I mean, all, all the guys that are going to be in the dunk contest. I mean, those are, those are guys oh, yeah. to try to grab now. Cause you think about that night of the dunk contest. I mean, those, those guys are all going to go off. So um, it's, it's fun stuff like that. I mean, I, the, I like to liken it. I mean, if you, if you think a guy's going to have a good game and instead of, you know, betting is over on points, rebounds, assist or something and falling half a, half a rebound short, you can, just go buy his moment. And if he, he goes <laughs> off, you're, you're probably going to turn it, a little bit of profit that night. Yeah. All right. I have a couple quick questions left before I would get to that. I want to shout out better than Vegas, better than Vegas. We're uh, we're dropping. We're not dropping packs. We're dropping picks every day over on our uh, better than Vegas page, sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV. Kramer, I know we gave out. Uh, we had the Suns against the T Wolves. That was a lot. We been, both gave it. We're pretty much on fire lately. While I'm while I'm talking to Ryan, he's pulling out his credit card <laughs> mid podcast to head over to NBA Top Shot. Ryan, you throw away that credit card. You don't need them for the free picks we got going 
on better than Vegas. It's like YouTube, <laughs> but for sports betting, plenty of free picks analysis, and uh, just tons of videos going on there. Sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV sign up there. That'll take you right to our profile, subscribe and uh, join better than Vegas. Is there anyone you just mentioned uh, Stanley Johnson? Are there any type of players even uh, Alex Caruso or just random guys. You that, love Alex Caruso. Well, I'm just saying, you know, uh, a white guy who's kind of bald <laughs> that can dunk. I can see why a bunch of sports fans might be like, oh yeah, hey, I'm hey, it kind of reminds me if I could actually if I could play for the Lakers. Uh, you know, I want a nice uh, screen <laughs> setting Alex Caruso moment. No, I mean I, you can see how like a guy like him maybe is a a fan favorite or Ryan. You're rocking your Jeremy Lin jersey. No, no, this He's is certain, Car- please. This is Carmelo oh, Anthony. Oh, you're right. That is. You Mello. know, I was a big Carmelo fan when he came to the Knicks. Are Mis- there, He's misunderstood. <laughs> Are there any uh, players that would surprise you or or surprise us that they do really well on Top Shot? Yeah. So. It's it's gonna be the guy. I mean, the, what I've seen, it's the guys that are like popular daily fantasy players who, mm. when they're you know when they're like a Boban, he's going for like a ton <laughs> on the site because whenever Boban starts, he goes for like twenty five DraftKings points no matter what. And uh, Caruso is a big one. He's a fa- uh, pretty fan favorite in the DFS community. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of funny seeing some of those guys. Chris Boucher. Boucher is a, is a pretty popular one this year. Cause he's been pretty good for DFS. Um, so, so that's kind of interesting. I don't think that has any long-term holding power, but right now it does a little bit. Um, I mean, I think one of the things that's, that's definitely worth talking about is so they've, they've come out with some announcements that they're going to release different badges on moments. Mm. And so um, there's rookie badges. So there's mm. three different rookie badges you can get. It's, you know, if, if a moment is from a player's rookie year, if a moment um, was created during the player's rookie year, which doesn't seem like that big of a difference, but like um, last year, uh, some of the, or they're they're if they do ever do a throwback, then that one won't get that kind of second badge. And then there's also the third badge for rookies, which is from their debut game. Um, so all, all the rookies this year have stuff from their debut games. Um, so they're going to get the triple badge when it comes out with it. Like, I think they're targeting this month for that to happen. And then also any, any players, you know, very first moment on top shot, whether they're a rookie or not is going to get a badge. Um, and so, and that's going to be the same moment across all the different sets that, that are that, you know, that same dunk or that same three pointer or whatever. And so, um, I've been kind of working on a list of all that stuff um, that I've putting together a little bit of tool to help everybody <laughs> know the first moments of, of uh, trying to get my coding skills up to date. So I can pull all these that's, prices in. That's but, cool, um, man. That's, that's no, next yeah, level. It'll, it'll be, it'll be rolling out soon. I'll, I'll get it out for the SGP nation. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hashtag digits only. Now uh, there's a hundred thousand dollar LeBron James legendary moment here. It's just, this is this is insane. Now I the, only put three hundred dollars. I need to get a <laughs> nine hundred ninety ninety seven thousand more. So so that hundred thousand dollar moment that came from someone just signing up and opening a pack. Yeah, I mean that those co- like I think that's probably like one of the cosmic ones or whatever. I think that that um, was from packs that were, were last year, and so. If I remember correctly, those cosmic packs were the were a legendary pack, and those were um, going for two hundred thirty bucks last season. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so, so a little, a little so higher. Someone investment. paid two thirty, and now they just turned over six figures. <laughs> John, before before uh, we let you go, so just clear, just just to be clear, the main strategy is buy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Like exactly. What what happens first, John? What gets you to six figure a six figure win first? Is it a GPP win or NBA Top Shot? If you were setting the odds on whether you get a six figure payday next from a GPP tournament or Top Shot, what are you pricing the odds at? Honestly, with my luck so far in DFS this season for basketball, I might put the odds behind Top Shot at like a plus, minus two fifty favorite here. Awesome. All right, so I'm seeing here's a Dwight Howard moment. Oh, so man. so Dwight Howard is a, is an interesting one. So Dwight Howard's got a little bit of staying power because you, if you know, obviously he's you know backup for the Sixers right now, but you got to think he's decently close to retiring. So when he gets that, and he's going to be a lock for the hall of fame, you know, a couple defensive players a year, stuff like that. So he's a guy that 
the lot of sharp people are trying to grab as many Dwight Howards as possible, hold on to him. He gets that little Hall of Fame bump in a couple of years, then they're able to turn it. I mean, these are people that are thinking pretty long term. You know, they're not just trying to. All right, pump C- and dump serial there. number five for Dwight. Ha- serial number seven is seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven dollars. Holy shit! Wow. Yeah, I, I need to get I mean, my hands on one of these yeah. Dwight Howard moments. Some of the so that's one thing that I would kind of caution people with is. <laughs> You know, just because a moment is listed at a price doesn't exactly mean that's how much it's worth, right? Because there's got to be somebody on the other end that buys it, right? So, Let me refine um, my strategy: <laughs> buy packs. Yes, yes, buy packs. Definitely buy packs. Buy packs. And I think, like the the next opportunity that to find the the best value is going to be when all these new moments happen, which is going to be within the next week or two. Um, and Ooh. I'm talking about all these ones that are going to be numbered out of twenty five thousand. Um, you're going to be able to get some good player. I mean, there's going to be a LeBron in there. There's going to be a Damian Lillard. There's going to be, um, I think a Luca, there's going to be a John Moran. I mean, there's going to be these good players that n- are not going to have a market, right? Cause everybody's going to get these moments and they're going to try to figure out what the hell to, to, um, put them up for. And so then that window, when everybody starts getting the moments and everybody's placing them on the marketplace is a good time to kind of snap you know, get in there and, and get some, some studs for cheap before they kind of uh, normalize out to where they should be. Like, and, and just to be clear, like, I, I don't know if there's something else I have to wait for, but Sean, I, I did, I'm in, I've deposited money. Like, I, I, I don't know if the, like, I, I, I don't know if I'm all the way verified. I might have to try <laughs> to buy something. Here's like, no, you, you should be in now. I think the only, um, when I, back when I back when I first started a whole month ago, um, <laughs> <laughs> you had to do like an ID check to start, I think. But now it's um, I, I think the ID checks on the back end for the withdrawal process. So yeah, you're in. You can you can start buying. All right, I'm fiending. I got to get some packs, Ryan. We got to be cool cats. Thank you, uh, John, for calling in. This was a lot of fun, and I know we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be talking more Top Shot NBA Top Shot. We, we got, we'll fire up the Slack channel so everyone can talk strategy, notify friends and family when the pack drops happen. Make sure you give a uh, John a follow on Twitter at John boy beats. And uh, why not drop him a uh, drop him a top shot? Give him a top well, shot tip. And real quick, we got, let's just bring John on real okay. quick. Cause he, I know he's deep in the top shot too. What's up, John real quick. We're getting out of here, but t- tell me you've been Perfect. making some money. Uh, first it was Pokemon. First it was Pokemon, now it's Top Shot, right? So let's <laughs> let's get this. Uh, I was part of the the Saturday um, haul. Um, it was actually a, a base pack pre order, so I bought yeah. it, and I don't get it for two weeks. So the NBA was kind of generating some interest, and they're gonna make these moments, and I'll get my first pack in two weeks, oh. even though I purchased it already. So it's, so it's, it was like a pre-order pack. Oh, what a, what a tease. Bro. Wow. They really what know how tease. to stretch it out. All right. Uh, John, before we let you go, what is your most valuable top shot? I don't think he no, has any, I, nothing yet. Nothing oh, okay. yet. However, uh, of the, of the pack that I'm seeing, um, courtesy of the uh, Doris Burke, I'm seeing a uh, Patrick Beverly penetrates for a layup as one of my targets oh, for yes, I get please. Yes, yeah, he's please. one of those guys who will get penetration. All right, John, thanks for calling in John hop in the, uh, hop in the slack. We'll be talking top shot. And if you got an extra uh, top uh, Stanley Johnson or whatever top shot, <laughs> kick it over to uh, John Jackson. Appreciate the time, John at John boy beats on Twitter and top shot. Thank you for participating in the oh, Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green at Sean T. Green on NBA Top Shot. And he is Ryan. <laughs> at Kramer Centric. Uh, I got $300 to spend, Sean. Let's go. Kramer, let it go.